Hey, this is Joe Healy with another edition of Florida.net Minute. Today we're going to talk with Kevin Wolf, aka the Byte Master, about his casual gaming framework, Wemo GF. This framework allows a single project to target Zoom, Windows, Mobile, and Silverlight. Pretty exciting stuff. Let's see how it goes. So Kevin, fairly complicated piece of work here. Uh, why'd you build this? I really wanted to build games for Marketplace out there, but I didn't want to just create games that would run on Windows Mobile 6.5 with the upcoming release of uh, Windows Mobile 7.0. So I figured, you know what, if I go ahead and kind of build everything against interfaces, then once Windows Mobile 7.0 comes out, or at least we get enough information on there, I can create an implementation of it that would go ahead and run on the new platform out there. All right, so flexible framework. So uh, essentially, this thing is able to be multi-targeted. Uh, you know, could you target 360 or, well, definitely not for me, but could you also do something like a mono-touch implementation or something like that? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I'm not sure about the 360. Uh, obviously, you could use it to target the 360, but the challenge we have with that is that the form factor that you're going to be using to build games on a kind of like a little phone or a MP3 player or something like that probably isn't going to scale up that well to a 52-inch TV. As far as uh, porting it to mono and kind of going in that direction, yeah, I think there's some options. Uh, there's a lot of technical challenges with that, but that's something that uh, could be looked at next year. So uh, is this a replacement for XNA? Can I do this instead of XNA programming? It's really not a replacement for XNA, and the reason why I say that is uh, it's really meant for building kind of small, quick, casual games that run on mobile devices out there. I guess you could go ahead and kind of build some more advanced stuff with this, but it's there's some tools and capabilities that go uh, into XNA that really just we're not going to kind of go down that road as far as supporting it, especially things like 3D in the current version. So what what kind of things does your framework do that uh, you know saves me a lot of work and effort when I'm writing a casual game? Well, what we really hope to do with this gaming framework is provide a layer of abstraction for the different types of things that you need to build games. One thing in particular that a lot of time went into was actually rendering the different kind of images and graphics on the screen. I guess we call them sprites. And the way you actually render a sprite within Silverlight or Windows Mobile is slightly different than how you would do it in Zune HD. So we're kind of isolating those details away from you. Another thing that's incorporated in here is a uh, physics engine to be able to handle things like collisions and forces acting upon the sprites to make them animated. In addition, it abstracts away a lot of the details for managing input like a multi-touch or uh, D-pad on a uh, device, on a Windows mobile device. It even has support for accelerometers and then things like playing sounds and loading content. So we really try to abstract away all the things that you'll need to do to build these casual games into the interface so you can actually go ahead and just focus on the gameplay itself. So uh, I take it you didn't use Farseer Physics Engine. I'd heard a grapevine on that. Why didn't you? Yeah, it's actually a, it's actually a really good uh, engine and there's no technical reason why not. The primary reason was we wanted to build something that was specialized and kind of really lightweight that could actually run on all these individual platforms out there. And once we got underneath the hood, we could kind of go in and tweak it to make it run better on any of the different platforms. Seeing that, since I mentioned before, we we're actually targeting interfaces with all of the functionality. If you wanted to go ahead and implement the interface using Farseer Physics Engine, that certainly would be an option. And I, I really see that happening sometime, uh, sometime in the future. So the sample we're building is a pretty simple sample. Are there any uh, more complete ones out there? Yeah, there are, actually. If you download the full source, not just the uh, download uh, setup program, you'll actually download three games along with, uh, I think, are about 10 or 11 small little sample applications. So try to uh, build uh, lots of little samples out there to kind of get you going. Cool. All right. Yeah, I'll list uh, some links to the samples in the uh, in the presentation, uh, and people will be able to see it and work out pretty good. Let's see. Uh, so, have you posted any games yet to Marketplace? Slacker. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm kind of uh, kind of uh, <laughs> kind of slacking on that one. Not enough free time in the in the week, but uh, not yet. Actually, it's it's definitely something that's going to happen sooner rather than later. Because that's really the reason why I built this whole gaming engine was to be able to build games that we can get out there sooner rather than later and then just port those up to uh, Windows Mobile 7 when it does come out. Uh, as far as Marketplace goes, I'm really excited about kind of building games in this uh, in this fashion because all the details to actually get your game certified and run 
and marketplace. We hope to kind of get those isolated in the gaming framework. So by the time you actually build a game with this, we'll be able to kind of deploy it out there. And the certification process would go a little smoother. So does the framework cost anything? No, the framework is absolutely free. You can download the source for everything that you need to actually build casual games out on the CodePlex site. And I think you mentioned that you'll be putting some links for that in the show notes. Cool. Uh, so what are the what are the straight up steps to get started with this? Okay, the, there's a couple different paths that you can go. The easiest is probably just go to the uh, CodePlex site and download the setup program. What that does, that actually installs a little kind of a little program within the start menu that you'll actually use to create your projects. The reason why we had to do it this way instead of a project template was because what we wanted to do was create one solution that reuses the game files out there, and uh, that seemed to be a bit challenging with the templates. But uh, you'll actually go ahead and run that little kind of wizard. It's just like a one- or two-step thing. Say which targets, which platforms you want to target. Say where you want the files to end up at, and then that'll create your solution that you'll be able to start customizing your game. All right. So any- it's pretty straightforward. Sorry. Sorry. Anything else uh, coming up next? Uh, you got any plans for this? Yeah. The next thing that I'm really excited about, once we kind of get this uh, first version stable and uh, just a 1.0 type release on this, we're actually going to start looking at doing some online stuff. Uh, the first couple things that come to mind would be, I guess, building some type of a high score service so that you could very easily and quickly uh, build a high score kind of screen into your game to be able to share that information. Also, we'll have something to allow for online multiplayer gameplay where you can kind of send packets of bytes back and forth for whatever you need. And hopefully that will work good across the cellular networks. I have some concerns with that, but we'll try to make that as efficient as possible. So those are probably the next couple things on the list here. Sounds pretty cool. So thanks a lot, Mr. Kevin. So Kevin's Wemo game framework is uh, pretty exciting. Can't wait to play with it a little. Uh, definitely the multi-targeting uh, sure is a highlight of it. So I hope you get a chance to try it out. I'm Joe Healy, and this has been another Florida.net Minute.